Hi. Hi. I'm a seventh grader at Franklin Middle School. As you can see, it's a pretty rough place. Especially for us kids who play the banjo. Because the worst thing about when I play the banjo, other than the sound it makes, is that it's not exactly a shortcut to popularity. It's sure not a babe magnet, I know that. <laughs> Playing banjo to impress girls is like smoking meth to grow teeth. <laughs> and I've heard all the disparaging banjo jokes, like how many banjo players does it take to eat a possum? One to eat the possum, one to watch for cars. <laughs> and that's not funny. <laughs> hey, if you're not part of the solution, Anyway, so by now you might be wondering, so is this guy's talk somehow going to help make the world a better place? You call this an idea worth spreading? Is this subject matter really TED-worthy? Yes, yes, and yes. Because my talk today is really about self-esteem. Yeah. And what it might be like to have some. You see, the people who shape the world have to have the courage to be true to themselves and do what they love, even if it might mean being unpopular. Leaders and innovators have to have the courage to follow the beat of a different drummer. And it just so happens that the banjo is really nothing more than a drum with strings. So that makes it pretty different. There you go. Stop. That was nothing. Because we're fixing to stomp a hole in the floor. Hope they don't mind. Anyway, the word banjo gives us a simple, easy to remember acronym that can help give you the courage to be true to yourself and do what you love, even if it might mean being unpopular, like myself. So first B, be the ultimate you. No one else is as good at being you as you are. No one else can fulfill your assignment on this planet. You need to know yourself, like yourself, respect yourself, and be yourself. And since there's only one you, you've got a complete monopoly on that whole supply and demand thing. And look at it this way. Elvis never impersonated anybody. <laughs> a, don't be a jerk. I had another A word in mind there for a while, but I changed it at the last minute. Uh, <clears throat> when I say don't be a jerk, work to cultivate your best traits and work to conquer your worst traits, okay? Love yourself just the way you are, but love yourself too much to let yourself stay just the way you are. In, never worry about fitting into the in crowd. So many people devote their lives to following the latest trend so they can be just like everybody else. In the process, they approach everything unique and wonderful about themselves and become totally generic. Never let the world squeeze you into its mold. And remember this, being unpopular is often your first indicator that you are by nature a trendsetter, not a trend follower. And besides, most of the people I've ever known who are in the in crowd were associated with the previous letter. That is the previous version of the previous letter that I later changed. <laughs> J, just be the ultimate you. Don't be a jerk. Never worry about fitting into the in crowd. See, J is kind of a recap letter, in case anybody might have drifted off. A lot of short attention spans nowadays. So. And O, if someone else is not OK with the real you and can't appreciate you for how unique and wonderful you really are, then they're the one who has the problem, not you. Am I right? OK. Now, who wants to hear some good music? OK, get back on your bus. Tell the driver to head north on 75, stay in the right-hand lane, take the Nashville exit. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Let's draw off this classic bluegrass favorite. Here we go. So call me maybe. 
Yeah, I do bluegrass adaptations of all the world's greatest rock and roll songs ever written. That one's off my 17th album, I think, something like that. Oh, someone screamed out one more? Okay. <laughs> you guys, one more, here we go. Gangnam Style. <laughs> yeah, I do bluegrass versions of all the world's greatest Asian rock and roll songs ever written. <laughs> that one's a huge hit in Pong Yang. Oh, someone screamed out one more? You guys. Okay, one more. Here we go. Here we go. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no treble. <laughs> One more? I don't have time, thanks. Okay, one more. Let's make this the audience participation portion of the show. You want to? How many people here have ever clapped your hands and stomped your feet along to the third movement of Orpheus in the Underworld written by Jacques Offenbach in 1858? Okay, pretty much everybody, good. <laughs> well, most people don't call it that. Most people call it the can-can. I chose it because if I can, you can, and together we can-can. Uh, one word of caution. When you combine a high-energy song with the life-giving effervescence of the banjo, it's clinically proven to be impossible to sit still. So if you want to jump out of your seat, run up here on stage, and join in a spontaneous high-kick line dance, I totally understand. Yeah. Uh, but please, no twerking. <laughs> so please clap along. Feel free to come on up. Nobody's going to stop you. It's a free country for now. <laughs> Better hurry. Here we go. This way, this way. Come on up. Here we go. I'm starting up. I'm starting. I'm starting. <laughs> Thank you. 